The purpose of this video is to help manage some of the more common tasks associated with Vitek 2 system security. This includes creating new users and assigning security levels, resetting passwords, changing passwords, and unlocking user accounts. At the end of this video, you should be able to recognize the two main software systems on the Vitek 2 computer, create new users and assign them to groups, reset forgotten passwords, change passwords, and unlock passwords in the Vitek 2 software. There are two main types of software on the Vitek 2 systems computer, Windows and the Vitek 2 system software. The Windows software is the base operating system that runs and manages the computer. The user must first log on to Windows in order to gain access to the Vitek 2 system software. Please note that this video is specific to computers with a Windows 7 operating system. The Vitek 2 system software is used to communicate with the Vitek 2 instrument. Card data is transferred from the instrument to the software where it is analyzed into identification and susceptibility results. User security is managed by Windows for both types of software. Therefore, most of the tasks covered in this video are performed in the Windows software. Since this video covers multiple security tasks, each one is represented by a button. Click the appropriate button to view information specific to that topic. Creating a new user account. As mentioned previously, user security is managed by Windows. So creating a user account in Windows gives access to the Windows operating system and the Vitek 2 system software. In order to create a new user account, first, create the new user, and second, assign the new user to an appropriate group or groups. Assigning a new user to a group or groups determines the privileges or functions that user can perform. Log into the Windows 7 operating system using an account with administrator privileges. From the Windows desktop, right-click on the computer icon. This icon can usually be found in the upper left corner of the screen. Click Manage to bring up the computer management window. In the navigation tree, under System Tools, click the arrow symbol to the left of the Local Users and Groups folder to open it. In the navigation tree, right-click on Users. Click New User. In the New User window, enter a user name. For example, type Microtech. Enter the full name following the format of last name, comma, first name. In this case, Tech, comma, Micro. The full name should be less than 40 characters. A description of the user is optional. For this user, we will enter Group Leader. Enter a password. In Windows 7, the password must be at least six characters long, must contain a combination of at least three of the following characters, uppercase letters, lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols, punctuation marks, and must not contain the user's username. Enter the password again to confirm. Uncheck the box, user must change password on next logon, and then check the password never expires box. Note, if these password selections do not meet your laboratory security requirements, make the appropriate choices. Be advised that if password never expires is not checked, the user must periodically log into the Windows login screen and update their password. There is no warning message if the password is about to expire. And if user must change password at next logon remains checked, the user will not be able to access the Vitek 2 system software until after the password has been changed by logging into Windows. Click the Create button. Repeat the process to create other new users if necessary. Click the Close button. Next, we will assign the new user to a group or groups depending on the specific functions they are required to perform. Click on the Users folder on the left side of the screen to display the list of all users. Double-click on the newly created username in the right-hand window. In this example, click on Microtech. Select the Member Of tab. Click the Add button. 
click on the Advanced button in the Select Group windows. Click on the Find Now button in the Select Group Advanced window. There are three primary user groups established in the Windows 7 operating system. As new usernames are created, they must be assigned to one or more of the user groups to complete their account. The administrator group allows full Windows access, including creating user accounts and installing and configuring software. It also provides full Vitec 2 system software and BCI link access. This group may be appropriate for laboratory supervisors or key operators. The Supervisors group has restricted Windows access, but full Vitec 2 system software and BCI link access. This group may be appropriate for microbiology bench technologists. The Laboratory Technologists group has limited access to Windows, Vitec 2, and BCI link software. Users can perform most daily activities but cannot configure the software. This group may be appropriate for laboratory aides or weekend personnel. To add a user to the administrator group, select Administrators and Supervisors. To add a user to the supervisor group, select Supervisors. To add a user to the Lab Technologist group, select Laboratory Technologist. BCI Admin and BCI Routine should be added to those with administrative and supervisor privileges. BCI Routine should be added to all others. Note. To select more than one security group, hold down the control key on the keyboard and click the desired groups in the displayed list with a left click of the mouse. For our example, Microtech will be assigned to Administrator, Supervisor, BCI Admin, and BCI Routine. Click the OK button. Click OK again. Click Apply. Click OK. Select File and Exit to return to the Windows desktop. The username can now be used to log in to both Windows and Vitec 2 system software. Creating a new user account summary. To summarize, log in to the Windows 7 software using an account with administrator privileges. From the Windows desktop, right click on the computer icon. Click Manage to bring up the computer management window. Click the arrow symbol to the left of the Local Users and Groups folder to open it. Right-click on Users. Click New User. In the New User window, enter a username. Enter the full name following the format of last name, comma, first name. Enter a password. Enter the password again to confirm. Uncheck the box User Must Change Password on Next Logon, and then check the Password Never Expires box. Click the Create button. Click the Close button. Click on the Users folder on the left side of the screen to display the list of all users. Double click on the newly created username in the right hand window. Select the Member Of tab. Click the Add button. Click on the Advanced button. Click on the Find Now button. Add the user to the appropriate groups. Click the OK button. Click OK again. Click Apply. Click OK. Select File and Exit to return to the Windows desktop. The username can now be used to log in to both Windows and Vitec 2 system software. Resetting Forgotten Passwords Use this procedure if a user cannot remember their password. Forgotten passwords cannot be retrieved. Instead, a new password is assigned to the user. Log into Windows 7 with the username and password with administrator privileges. Right-click on the computer icon. This icon can usually be found in the upper left corner of the screen. Click on Manage to open the computer management window. In the navigation tree under System Tools, click the arrow symbol to the left of the Local Users and Groups folder to open it. In the navigation tree, click on Users. Right-click on the forgetful user in the right window, Microtech. Click on Set Password. A Set Password warning window displays. 
click Proceed. Enter the new password and re-enter it to confirm. Click on OK. Close all open windows. To access the system using the new password, log off the computer. Click on the Start button in the lower left corner. Click on Log Off. Press Ctrl-Alt-Delete. Log into Windows using the new password. Log into Vitek 2 system software using the new password. In summary, log on to Windows 7 with a username and password with administrator privileges. Right-click on the computer icon. Click on Manage. Click the arrow symbol to the left of the Local Users and Groups folder to open it. Click on Users. Right-click on the forgetful user in the right window. Click on Set Password. A Set Password warning displays. Click Proceed. Enter the new information and re-enter it to confirm. Click on OK. Changing Passwords. In order to change a password, the user must know their current password. If the current password is unknown, refer to the Resetting Forgotten Password section of this video. If a user knows their password and wants to change it, perform the following steps. Log into the Windows software using your username and current password, Microtech. Press the Ctrl-Alt-Delete keys at the same time to display the security window. Click on Change a Password. Type in the old password. Type in the new password and re-enter it to confirm. Click OK. To access the system using the new password, log off the computer. Click on the Start button in the lower left corner. Click on Log Off. Press Ctrl-Alt-Delete. Log into Windows using the new password. Log into Vitek 2 system software using the new password. To summarize, log into the Windows software with your username and current password. Press the Ctrl-Alt-Delete keys. Click on Change a Password. Type in the old password. Type in the new password and re-enter it to confirm. Click OK. Log off the computer. Log into Windows using the new password. Log into Vitek 2 system software using the new password. Unlock a Vitek 2 systems account. Occasionally, users may lock themselves out of the Vitek 2 system software. The number of allowed login attempts is configurable, 2 to 8. If this is exceeded, a warning is given and the user becomes locked out of the Vitek 2 system software. Note, it is not possible to lock out an account in the Windows 7 software. Log into the Vitek 2 system software with a username and password with administrator or supervisor privileges. The security violation screen will display. Click in the box before the statement. Click here to unlock all locked LabTech IDs. Click OK. Log out of the Vitek 2 system software by clicking on the key icon and then log out. To verify access, have the previously locked out user log back into the Vitek 2 system software. Unlock a Vitek 2 systems account summary. Log into the Vitek 2 system software with the username and password with administrator or supervisor privileges. The security violation screen will display. Click in the box before the statement. Click here to unlock all locked LabTech IDs. Click OK. Log out of the Vitek 2 system software. Have the previously locked out user log into the Vitek 2 software.